Life is full of ups and downs, bumps and turns. But sometimes the unexpected leads to the unthinkable and life comes to a sudden halt. And that, um, I'm sorry. Jill Albani is the mother of three young and active little boys. Her husband, Art, the life partner who was supposed to be by her side for years to come. We were happy and we had a lot of plans. And just like that, it was over. Art slept downstairs with his two older sons one night. Jill found him the next morning lifeless. Art had died in his sleep. I just was screaming. I'm like, Daddy died, Daddy died. You know, the baby was too young. He just was sitting there, and Chase is looking at me. He's two years old. And uh, my son Spencer was five, and we just sat there and cried. <laughs> With time, Spencer revealed he too had tried to wake his father, but was too scared to tell his mom. A family entrenched in grief, surrounded by pain, but able to find comfort through San Diego Hospice. I tell people now that hospice feels like a flashlight in the dark. The organization known for comforting those at the end of life is also helping those left behind find their way forward. It's called the Center for Grief Care and Education at San Diego Hospice. Our mission is really to relieve suffering, and when one has experienced the death of a loved one, they are suffering, and we are there to support them, walk with them through that process, help them through that journey, and support them in it. Oh my gosh, where do I sign up? You know, I don't want to do this by myself. I, can't, I don't know how, and given how much pain I'm in, I can't imagine going this road alone. Through the most extensive bereavement support network in San Diego County, people just like Jill are quickly realizing they're not alone. Specialized counseling is available for adults and children because everyone grieves differently. In a program called Grief Street, families are brought together to better understand each other and become stronger. When they leave counseling, one of the, the biggest accomplishments I've seen is a sense of acceptance and understanding of who they are in the world and, and who they are in the world without the person who died. For children, there is another option, a place that looks a lot like summer camp. That's because it is. Camp Aaron gives children like Spencer, who've lost loved ones, the chance to act like a kid and grieve like a kid. Children can attend Camp Aaron at no cost to their family and are partnered up with a Camp Big Buddy to help them along like Skip Freiberg. The camp is a mixture of lots of fun activities, swimming, working with horses, uh, wall climbing, uh, campfires, drumming circles, and then also different workshops. We draw pictures of the person who died in our family and um, like if you already have a grave for them, you could put the present by them. You might be a little nervous, a little shy to come in, and you really see them blossom. One of the things you hear kids telling us throughout the whole weekend is introducing us to one of their camp, camp friends, their new friends, and saying, their brother died too, or their dad died too. Well, they're kind of the same as me. So, so, uh, someone in their family died. I think it helps them to just know, okay, this is okay. I'm normal, I'm experiencing something that's difficult, but I can get through this. You know, I'm grateful. I, I feel like I have my kids back. You know, they're happy, they're alive, they're, they're not uh, withdrawn, they're not crying all the time, they're not having nightmares anymore. It's been a long road, but we're, we're coming back. Living life thanks to counselors, volunteers, and people just like you who support San Diego Hospice. I thank them. I thank anybody and everybody who donates. And um, I know my kids thank them.